Hi, welcome to Informatica video conversation. My name is uh, Nagaraja Rao, working for Informatica Global Customer Support. The topic of the session is what are the recommendations while deploying the global local objects between the repositories and the power center. The agenda of the session is what is global shortcuts and uh, can we include the global and local objects in the same deployment group? How, what are the precautions that needs to be taken care while deploying the global shortcuts and also what is the role of folder comparison in deploying the objects? What is global shortcut? Global shortcut is a shortcut which is pointing to the shared objects in the global repository. What is local shortcut? Local shortcut is a shortcut which is pointing to the objects in the same repository which is present in the shared folder. Can we include a global and local objects in the same deployment group? It is not possible to include uh, the global and local objects in the same deployment group because the deployment group is a part of a single repository. We cannot able to include the objects from two different repositories into one single deployment group. We need to create a separate deployment group in each of the repository and then we need to migrate the objects. Let me go to the demonstration. Now, this is my local repository and this is my global repository. And this is my target repository where I don't have any global and local repository model. I have only one target repository, but in my source environment, I have two repositories, global and local repository. In my local repository, I have a mapping shortcuts that are pointing to the objects in my uh, global repository. Now, when I want to migrate such uh, objects, what are all the precautions that needs to take? Let me first migrate this uh, deployment group into my target environment and then show you what the issues I will come across. Now, actually the process is uh, doing the folder comparison. Why do we need the folder comparison? Is it mandatory when we are migrating the objects across the environments? Yes, it is mandatory to do the folder comparison when we are migrating the objects. If we don't do the folder comparison, what could have been happen? What is the in, uh, uh, like uh, background? What will happen when we do the folder comparison? The folder comparison process make sure to establish the map between the source and target object IDs, which will be used in the future deployments. If we don't uh, do that, then there is a errors like this, what we are seeing can happen. Now, in the next deployment, I will show you how the folder comparison can be done forcefully so that we can avoid such kind of errors. Before doing the next uh, deployment I need to check is there any objects that are in checked out state yes now I will go and undo check out all of them so that I can able to deploy the objects in my next deployment group now when we do the folder comparison explicitly the map between the source target IDs will get established and then it's maintained in the target repository. If we skip the folder comparison suppose then that map doesn't get uh, created because of that at the end of the deployment the deployment process is not able to match the exert objects 
between the source and target environments which can lead to name conflict errors. Now you see this is the folder comparison which we skipped in the last deployment. Now I have I am going through the forceful folder comparison so that the objects between the global source repository and target repository is mapped. Now this time let me see whether my deployment uh, will complete successfully or not. And also I will need to explain make, uh, while deploying the global shortcut we need to make sure the parent objects which are global shared objects is already exist in the target environment. It is not necessarily to be the global local model should exist in the target environment. It can be or it even it cannot be. So it is not mandatory. As I said like what is the role of folder comparison and skipping the folder comparison can also lead to metadata inconsistencies. Now this time my deployment went fine without any issues what we are seeing here. If you have any questions with respect to this video KB session please mail us to support videos at informatica.com. Thank you.